No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end uh -oh. of that thing. It's on me again. That might have been worth sharing with the rest of us. Well, I found out yesterday. That's the truth. Let's do that. Well, By the way, welcome to episode uh, I was gonna part tell you. two or whatever you call it. found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us. Following us. And they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? Oh, shit. Let's just be neutral on this one. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. I'm gonna start calling Ben, uh, Ben the biggity bitch. <laughs> just cause that's what he is. Must have stopped working a while ago. Nice little grandfather clock. Oh uh, yeah, I was trying to say welcome back to uh, part two of this episode. I wanted to upload these pretty the fast, so hang right tight. Now. I need to stay frosty. I didn't actually anticipate this coming out until the last, oh, it's like the last week of October. But here we are in like the middle of it. Let's check this cabinet. Better not be some bullshit in there. All empty. What freaks me out is this reminds me of the part in Heavy Rain, where you gotta you're in the god's like antique shop or whatever. I think it's an antique shop, and you gotta dust off I'm everything. Not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. All I remember was was I fucked that up pretty good. <laughs> oh, what is what the fuck? Oh, that's okay. So I'm not supposed to go upstairs. I wonder what would happen if I did. Let me, should I even, you know, there's really no point in talking to him. I guess I'm supposed to check just all the stuff. Oh, look at this. Family portrait. I thought that dog was his sister for a minute. So that's the, uh, that's the dog in the backyard, I guess. I hope the other parts of the family aren't laying around in these doors. Smart man, getting that getting that gun out. I'm waiting for something to All drop clear from the in ceiling. Here. So this game, uh, what, what I was going to ask you guys, what is your favorite episode so far? Other than, you know, we're on four, so out of the first three. I think mine's probably episode two. And if you're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and spoil the shit out of it, but... I think that was the one with all the cannibal stuff. It just, it seemed, I don't know, for whatever reason, it seemed so much more intense and just crazy, you know? 
And it, it started off, you had to chop that dude's leg. I mean, it's fucking just insane. I'm walking in the walls. Jesus! <laughs> That's a, is what? it a mop? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? You know, uh, <sighs> back off, Fuck Christy. That. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not saying she intended to, but she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. You never told her not to talk to strangers. I mean, these days more than ever. Clem, honey, who is the man you've been talking to? It's okay. You're not in any trouble. We just need to know. I don't know. But he really seems nice. I think he wants to help us. Help us how? Clementine, what exactly have you told him? I told him that we were looking for my mom and dad and that they were in Savannah. He said he thinks he might know where to look for them. Have you told him anything else about us? Clementine, try to think. This is important. What else have you told him? Lee? Uh-oh. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh shit. What the fuck's going on now? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Oh man. Stay here. <laughs> Ben is just a big bitch this season. Or this this past few episodes. Ever since he's been a part, he's just he kinda seemed tough at first and then he just I don't know. He's just I don't like him. Kenny? Kenny. You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, is that duck? I, sh I shot him in the woods. What the fuck? That can't be him. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not him. Ooh. Looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Oh, man. How about this? I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. So you're gonna go over there and bash this, this must have been kid's face in. Let's All see. empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. I've read that you can actually last like couple of weeks without food but dehydration you'll die in like three or four days if you haven't drank anything Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found the one I did oh shit oh man the choices shoot him that might draw attention let's just bash it don't make me aim don't do it I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 
That's pretty fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. 